Aloha. On this video I wanted to cover grip and twirling. So to begin I wanted to show you the grip itself. And what is important here, I, I want to point out to you the point of contact with the stick. Uh, it's going to change depending on the diameter of the stick, the size of your hand. But generally speaking, points of contact, a lot of pressure here and within this web area, it's about right in here where the pressure takes place and of course on the thumb in here. So it's a, a this is where most of the pressure is, just right here in these two, the index finger and the thumb and then the other three are just relaxed and considerably so. There's some tension right in here on the, this one as well but these are pretty relaxed. So that's the grip. You want to focus on these these two digits and the pressure where I had pointed out to you. You want to have those applied. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm going to break down the twirling process for you in two steps. Oh, before we get to that, I wanted to point out this aspect of the stick. So you see that my pressure is where I said between the thumb and the index finger, but there's a lot of play here. There's a lot of play. And so this gives you some type of, as you pull down or squeeze, you can see it naturally and just let go and it automatically. So what's going to happen here is we're dealing with the universal law of gravity. And the stick itself is going to be dropping at some point, right? Where gravity pulls it down to the ground and as it moves, descends, the action here is going to be pulling back. Uh, the Grandmaster Largusa said that this motion was, the twirling motion is like a, a locomotion, a locomotive. Uh, it's a forward and back, or like a push and pull. Okay, so the grip is here, right? Pressure in these two digits as it drops. Now this is going to be important, so I'm going to rotate this way here so you can see it. As it's coming down, the wrist is, begins to turn a little bit to come on down. Okay, so it comes down and it, it, you rotate it to keep that momentum going. I'm going to swing back sideways so as it's coming up and I'm pushing forward, I'm taking that momentum and moving forward as it comes back. I'm rotating my wrist as it's coming down. It's coming up around and I push forward. I pull and I push. I pull and I push. Still the the focus is right in here and then the, the, the dynamics or the mechanics of pushing and pulling and like that. The other hand is just kind of naturally and you might have seen this where you start like this so it's a you're creating this circle just behind the momentum of, yeah, see how that, I tap it, gives you a sense. So, rotating down and, and pushing it forward. Again, the tension is only on between the index finger. All right, I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to show you just how that movement is. And then again, the coordination of the breath and I, I also, I need to remind myself about the breathing. So take it slow and you're like moving it around and pulling back and forward. And breathing fully. And you might have had, I'll just throw it. Twirling. So that's kind of the twirling again, the movement, the locomotive. The grip again is the emphasis of the index finger and these points here. And decreasing relaxation. The other thing that I want to point out about grip is the angle of how we hold the stick. So it's like this. You want to keep this, it's a natural position here. 
There's no, there's no tension in the wrist because it's rotated. It's just relaxed, straight forward. And you notice this angle here, this 90 degree angle. That's pretty uh, a natural position. So you want to maintain that. The rotation on the stick, the wrist is rotated up. It isn't parallel like this. It's rotated. Why? If you take a blade, a sword, and you strike like with your hand parallel like this, the blade is going to be face down. I don't have one to demonstrate that, but the blade would be, and you wouldn't be hitting with the sharp edge. So in order to do that, it's a simple rotation like that. So this is also part of the, the grip, and as you come down again, remember, this rotates to come open like that. That's twirling and grip. And till next time, this is Guru Yaren. Stay tuned, got some cool stuff, some exercises, and some footwork. All right, aloha for now.